So just a second. All right, we are good to go. Hello everyone, hello ladies and gentlemen. I'm back with another video and not just with another video. I'm back with a new mode from Team Raycast. It's the Green Arrow. Uh, I hope you remember the Batman saga from those guys. It was like two Batman mods. So this is another comic related mode. And I have to say, or maybe I have even to apologize right at the beginning that I'm not a comic guy. Uh, I don't read comics and I don't even particularly enjoy watching those movies. So actually you can call me a moron because prior to the, this release I had no idea that there is a character called the Green Arrow. Uh, so what to say about this mod? It's really just a brand new, brand new thing. It's like 10, 10 years, uh, 10 days old I think. It was released on 23rd October I think. I might be mistaken but that, that's not even that important. Uh, maybe the best way to start is just jump into read this. Uh, welcome to Green Arrow mod. Alright, we have the credits and we begin with the story. Oliver Queen, and I figured out it's us, Oliver Queen aka the Green Arrow. So Oliver Queen had just ordered his drink while waiting for an old friend to show up. Nights like this are special. It isn't often that Oliver could take a break from being the Green Arrow. Unfortunately, his night off wouldn't last long. After taking a few sips from his drink, a familiar dizziness set in. Savan spiked his drink and he knew exactly whose M.O.s this was. He, it means probably something ugly. <laughs> Let's just continue. He fell from his chair onto the ground. His head still hurting, Oliver slowly opened his eyes. There was a familiar figure sitting opposite him. Hello, Mr. Queen. Hello, Amanda. You know, you could just give me a call. Don't have to spike my drink every goddamn time. Well, until there's a safer way to bring you in, this I'll do. Amanda Waller, director of Ergus, was almost always bad news for Oliver. It either meant that a supervillain has escaped or that Oliver had to clean up a mess she had made. Let's cut to the chase, Oliver. Deathstroke, Deathstroke, I figured out this will be the supervillain in this mod. Deathstroke is, uh, Deathstroke is up to something and it involves Mirakuru. I have no idea what Mirakuru means. Shit, is he creating another army of super soldiers? Mirakuru, maybe another guy, maybe... I don't know, it's bad news regardless. So let's continue with our story. That certainly seems to be the case. He and his army have set up the camp over at Lianyu. Since you have lived and survived on that island for years after getting shipwrecked, there is no one more suitable for, the, for this mission than you. No one knows this island as intimately as you. And why would I want to risk my life for this? Because I say so. Waller continued. There is no one who knows the island better than you. And you know that Deathstroke will be coming for you when he's done creating the super army. And if you refuse, I reveal the identities of you and everyone associated with your vigilante antics. What I'm saying is, you have no choice. And I wasn't lying when I said that he's still a real threat. I have reason to believe that he has improved the Miracle formula. One of his test subjects was found floating in the ocean, and from what we can tell, the effects of Miracle are even more powerful now. This has to be stopped before he can make another attack on Starling City. You will be dropped on the island tomorrow. So Miracle, is that some super weapon or some substance that can make you, that can mutate you? Uh -huh. It seems like the case. Early next morning, his mood worse than it had been in a long time, Oliver was standing at the edge of the airplane, ready to parachute towards the island. The island that had only bad memories for him, facing an old friend he couldn't save. He jumped, but as he was going for the landing, he suddenly heard shouting. He had been spotted, shots were fired, puncturing his parachute. Oliver descended fast, landing hard in the midst of the jungle. He was hurt, badly. 
Luckily, Oliver still had a couple of safe places on the island. He made his way towards a near nearby cave. Okay, so that's all regarding the story. And now we have some game manual. Uh, uh, we have the weapons here, we have our fists and then all kinds of bow. Yeah, exploding, flaming, triple arrow, gas arrow and yeah. This mode has four different keys. We have some characters, wild boars. And now we have the credits, Doom Jedi, Linux Wolf, Athena, Ron Wolf and Serpent. There seems like Dean was not involved with this mode, so... A little bit strange for me, but... but yeah, special thanks. We are at the end of this manual. So, what to say about this mode? This mode is really difficult and it's not like an average in the usual Wolf 3D mode. Uh, if you remember the special level packs for, I think it was Legacy. So that is the way to go. We have like puzzle levels and you need to solve this, those, those puzzles. You need to have the correct strategy. Uh, you cannot just blindly blind play through. It's not the way to go in this mode. Uh, but the first level is just kind of relaxing, so we can give it a shot. We are of course going for the hardest difficulty and I'm of course aiming for 100%. So let's start. The cave. Oliver carried his battered body to one of the many hiding spots he had on this island. He was in worse condition than he had anticipated, but he had a mission and nobody needed to tell him how dangerous State Wilson could be. It was time to start hunting. Oliver can hunt wild pigs to gain health. Place Paris bar. Yeah. Basically, this is like the small tutorial, small advices. And as you can see, we are starting off this mode with 1% health, and that's just hilarious. Yeah, this, it. Cert certainly adds to the story we just heard, I just read. Right at the beginning we have this pack of uh, pack of arrows, we can sip some water. And yes, yeah, some of the advices we uh, we had there. So as you saw earlier, there are pigs on this island and we can hunt them. You can even use your fists to kill them, kill those, but you won't be able to eat any of the meat if you kill them with your fists, so just... If you do this, do it like this, you don't even need to aim, just get the closest to the pick you can, to the bore you can and just kill it like this. And when I was playing this for the first time I like pressed the use button, it gained me like 15% health and I was like okay, I suppose, but actually you can press the spacebar over and over and it will give you almost 100% health. So these bores are great source of health. Uh, but unfortunately the next level with boars is I think level 9 or 10 so just like more of like one level thing for now we have another boar and the other piece of advice that we had at the very beginning was that we can be stealthy in this level if we just kill everyone with the fists we won't alert anybody but if we let's say just shoot one arrow into the jungle then we will alert everybody and yeah that's another cool feature of this game you can be stealthy for the good portions of each level uh, I have to say sadly I'm not a stealth guy but I can show you that we can make we can progress this map with being stealthy and the first guy is around here and we can kill him like this and yeah, we didn't alert every, anybody. 
uh, if you are aiming for the 100%, I, I also need to tell you that the boars doesn't count to your kill ratio, so you don't need to run across the map and kill all the boars. So that was our first guy, we have another guy right here around the corner and let's kill him with our fists as well and a third guy over here all right with more arrows i just like to run back and grab even more arrows in this building uh, yeah there we go okay next go in here for the first key, the gold key. There are only two keys in this level. It's like a, it's like the small one. And now we need to start using our bow. And as soon as I fire a shot, then you will recognize what's the problem with this mod. It of course is that we have the aim weapon while the enemies are hit scanners. So it's mad mad difficult to kill everyone and not get hurt too much yeah. you can die very easily even in this first level I don't I don't have any idea how difficult is it on other settings but I can tell you it's very difficult on the hardest settings Uh, but I was assured that it was properly tested on the hardest difficulty, so I hope I can make it. But I can already tell you that some levels are insanely difficult and I have no idea how I'm gonna do it because there is almost no way that I can do this without dying. And I of course don't want to spend the whole day recording over and over, so... This is for sure a difficult task to do, difficult challenge. Okay, let's kill another boar and eat some meat. Like that. Uh, next I like to go back in the starting cave and use this exit. We have piece of gold. Uh, if you take a peek around get off my way you stupid boar if you, if you peek right there we see the other key and uh, we will getting that momentarily this is really just easy and quick level uh, be sure to not miss this spot here this is like a semi secret cave we have more arrows in it all right now where this gold is, press this wooden box for the secret. Now we have more goodies in here, more arrows, gold. And what I'm doing, I need to go here, yeah. We have some more enemies. We of course need to go there, but first have some more enemies to get rid of okay that was nice hit get here you stupid and then there is one more SS guy yeah, another interesting thing is that almost uh, let's be careful that almost every single level has different enemies in it uh, only these two types of guard are the basic guards that we will see alongside the whole game. So before we move into the locked door, be sure to gather up all this little treasure. Yeah, more gold over here. And here we have the last piece of gold and we have a secret and be sure to push it this way. Because there's nothing in here and there are arrows over here. It's really easy to screw that up. Yeah, you can, uh, while in the game, you can press U to view your stats. 
Over here, I like to use my fists. Yeah, if he shoots, if he fires a shot, he will alert all of the enemies. You can try to be stealthy in this room, but I just like to kill everyone with my fists. Okay, I think this is the last guy. and one final guy in here okay let's go over here kill this little peon take this key and we are ready to exit this level and the exit is right here so we have the green arrow level one all done see you in the next level and oh boy I'm kind of not looking forward to the second level because you'll see there are fences and it's really difficult to combat those guys but yeah whatever see you next time